1st of uh, 2011, and we'll just follow up with that. The second thing, um, Trustee Duberson, who is on the panel, has agreed to do some research on the various uh, companies out there. One in particular that came and visited Minnesota. They're cooperatives or outside brokers looking to sell gas and or electricity at a lower rate. So she'll be collecting information on that and we'll get back to it when she finds it info. I have a couple other comments, but I'll wait until we get into the revenue and appropriation ordinances. Okay, thank you. Public Works, Gary Washington, I think you gave thank a lot you. of this in yeah, here. Basically, I gave that to <laughs> Jeff and, and Greg, but uh, then he more and Greg can handle it. Okay. <laughs> Public safety, Trustee Barrett. Um, two things. I've got a article going out the newsletter that was uh, that everybody had a chance to take a look at on severe weather. But uh, now that we're all into the frost is out of the ground and we're talking about gardening season and planting and digging, um, I think it would be a really good idea to remind everybody to call Julie before you disconnect your house or yourself. Or you, you know, we've all got buried utilities over in the sanctuary and most of the village so you know you start digging a hole in the ground you stick the pickaxe in the ground and you, you get a 10,000 hole fever it's near light up like a christmas tree so i would suggest that anybody that's going to be doing any planting culturally haven't come out market property so at least you or your contractor know what's underneath you where you want to plant something when we when we did some repairs to our fence last year we called to have come out and it was just amazing how close my fence was put it to Utilities, so those are good advice. Um, good advice. Okay, weapons and open spaces, Trustee Duberson. Well, speaking of planting in spring, uh, it looks like spring is here. I have flowers blooming in my yard, and uh, we will start getting uh, things cleaned up around the village hall. Dave Olson of h and Landscaping will be doing a cleanup around the village hall. And as Gary mentioned, the so fencing will come down around the entrances. So um, things will start looking better. Um, and since we are looking at the budget tonight, <clears throat> I just thought that I would mention since um, the question of beautification of the village comes up from time to time and how much money we're spending on it and other places that we could use the money instead. If you talk about just the landscaping of the entrances in the village hall, um, the amount that we have budgeted is less than 1% of the total budget. If you include all of the maintenance that we plan for the ponds and the open spaces that are most visible, like um, the Haynesville Meadow, Misty Hill East, Deer Point. Um, we're talking about less than 2% of the budget. So that wouldn't even pay for the tar, for the cracks that Greg is talking about um, repairing in the village. So we're um, trying to make the village look good so that developers will look favorably upon Haynesville when it comes to bringing commercial endeavors here. So um, we're working on your behalf and also to keep our property values up as much as possible. Okay, thank you, good point. Community Relations, Trustee Naranowski. Uh, just on beautification too, uh, please understand that it's a process and yes, we understand that you know burning cattails and leaving it to set so that we can clear it the next year isn't the prettiest thing to look at. But uh, we do a lot of work to make sure that this is done properly the first time so that we don't have to repeat these efforts. So yes, it's a process and it's also something that I know I volunteer to my time and George Ann volunteers quite a bit of her time to uh, take care of the process and so by volunteering it keeps our costs down so if anybody really does have a problem with how we're spending the money please come volunteer so we can save some more money because you know it's a little tiring seeing George Ann and George being the only two out there sometimes working on some of the medium spending centers so that's all I have to say on that. 
Um, we had a we had a movie in uh, Village Hall. Uh, we actually had on um, the first next day of the entire uh, season, so we didn't get the turnout we quite expected, but we did get entirely new people, so people who hadn't come to the movies before, so that is encouraging. Um, I am very excited that we, on um, May 22nd, will be getting Despicable Me. Um, hopefully, now that we are moving to a very regular schedule, it will always be on the fourth Sunday of the month. So we have May scheduled, we have June scheduled for the fourth Sunday, we have July scheduled for the fourth Sunday. Hopefully when the heat is high and the air conditioning is free, more people will want to come. Um, so, and we are always looking for suggestions on movies, so please fill out the contact form on the Village website, it gets directly to me, and I'm looking for suggestions for the June movie. Okay, thank you. Now we will move on to business. J1 is still removed from the agenda. J2, um, I believe this will be the final time that we'll be extending the moratorium on the acceptance and processings of applications uh, or issuance of permits for wind energy conversion facilities and wind energy turbines. Um, Russ Crayley, our building official, updated me recently. He's been working on the Lake County Task Force on this issue. They did indeed complete the county ordinance and now that is being shared with municipalities. So we will be getting a copy of that. Russ has said it's kind of like a small phone book. And so we're not gonna just rubber stamp adopt it. What, what each municipality has to do, there's sections we have to go through that we will decide what is applicable for our type of community and given our zoning. So Russ will help guide us through that process so until we get that done, and we certainly it won't take six months, but to safeguard, we're doing a final six-month extension. I'll have booklets for everybody by the end of this month, and uh, Gurdy has already uh, gone through this, the planning commission. They revised it and cut it down, so I'm going to get a copy of that, so I can put it with it as a guideline, and then we can put it into the work, and we'll see what we want to accept. But I mean, like, for the first one, we're not going to do the five minutes with Thomas here. So I tell you what, we're doing it in Riverwoods right now, and we're looking at it, and we're just the board just decided, the planning commission decided that they're just going to allow the uh, house mounted small uh, wind turbines that go on top of the house or garage or something like that, and that's it. That's all they can use. The part of each village is going to have to decide what they want for themselves. Everything is covered, all sizes are covered. Choose what you want to allow and where you want to allow. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. So, do we have a motion for approval for the uh, ordinance extending the moratorium? So moved. Second. Roll call. Trustee Sternowski. Aye. Tiffany. Aye. Duberstein. Aye. Barrett. Aye. Daly. Aye. And Washington. Aye. Ordinance number 11 dash 4. Dash 145. Okay, item three is the 2011 to 2012 estimate of revenue draft. Kelly, do you take that one or just your I've got it. Okay. And she'll correct me. <laughs> okay, perfect. It's kind of like a marriage. <laughs> Where's my health benefits? <laughs> We are just presenting this draft uh, to the board and public tonight. It will be on the website within a few days. Uh, this is the first one for the revenue. Already we have discovered we need to make a change because of what we found out in the last evening, or actually this evening, about the uh, income from for the MFT fund. So we will be increasing this uh, revenue from $2.5 million. We'll kick that up another $350. About the loan, the IEPA loan. I'm sorry. That's what was confusing. Yes. Okay. She did correct you. <laughs> it's teamwork. And I also wanted to point out on this, if you see the first line on this page, uh, property taxes, that, uh, that we will receive approximately $112,500. That is 4.4% of 
our total revenue. And I, I just want the public to understand that property taxes, nobody wants to pay more property taxes. We've lowered our tax rate for this year, but it's still a very, very small part of our overall budget. Doesn't make it any less painful, but it's the village doesn't get all that much from the property taxes. So if there's any questions on that, I'll take them now or Kelly will. Otherwise we move on to the appropriation budget. Appropriation ordinance 2011-2012. Uh, the appropriation ordinance at this point is $82,000 in the black. Revenue over expenditures. This too will be altered uh, because the other part of that $350,000 loan will be um, the expenditure for the, the to that we paid to the actual contractors and the payments on, on the loan. And we will also uh, increase, I want to make this straight, sure this, that's the budget. We're going to increase the appropriation in the public works area by 5%. Now, appropriation means that's the legal limit of what we can spend. It doesn't mean that is what we will spend. Our budget will be uh, maintained as we've uh, issued it here. So those are the comments I have if there are any questions. And as I said, this will be on the website in a few days, and we can certainly take any public comments. Thank you. The only question I have <laughs> Because I just learned tonight more about the cost of the pavement study. Now, what's in our appropriation ordinance right now? I don't have the nuts and bolts, but um, Jeff had us put into the motor fuel tax for maintenance service street patching um, and lot addition as one thing. Appropriate thirty-five thousand. If the board is looking into starting this program. I think we need a little bit more direction, and also with engineering fees, they might be low on motor fuel tax for appropriating 3,000, and if it's going to be 10%. I may have an answer, at least a, a, the appropriate question. When you were reviewing the uh, crack ceiling for last year, was right. that full village, or, or I'll make it clear, the crack ceiling that you hope to do this summer, have you already paid for or been billed engineering fees for that? Uh, we have not. Okay. So then uh, you have a valid question. But, uh, uh, of course, Jeff's not here to comment, but I believe that it was covered adequately. I would just say we're not going to make a shift on, on how we're going to use MFT funds till the following year. Till the following fiscal year? Fiscal year, yes. So that would be my advice. So the request, or at least what, if I heard Greg correctly, some of this is for calendar year 2011. The, the pavement study that you did grade. was for this fiscal year, so that's, that's okay. The pavement study was for the last year. Right. This year coming up, uh, basically, uh, we did, Jeff and I did two uh, independent estimates of how much crack filling we're going to do this next year. His this next year, his was this summer? Yeah, this summer. His was, sounds like it was 35. Uh, I estimated uh, $45,000 for well, extra patch. This 35 is also including lot addition, and I think, if I remember right, just to try to connect these two lots. So I don't know if we have enough in the appropriation right now for patching and lot addition for MFT funds. I would say, you know, one, uh, what happened last summer, last fiscal year, is we underestimated how much it would take make that same mistake again this year. So uh, you know, I, I would recommend the forty five thousand dollars for for the crack project on crack filling only. And in that forty five thousand I also estimated there'd be ten thousand dollars worth of miscellaneous patchy work that comes. When we do plan up a contractor it seems like it never fails that there's always a, a sinkhole that develops or or whatnot that uh, maybe Jeff can do himself now that he's got a little bit better equipment. Uh, but, you know, just crack filling was 35. It was extra, a little bit of patchwork. The, the patch for Cogmore repair, he's going to do himself. 